fly in the room. Cheers to the tea drinkers, because for all those pals who still did not receive the salary and need to drink tea instead of coffee in the morning. Oh, it's way too many lemons. Anywho, welcome back to my channel, guys. Welcome to this dysfunction that is going on over here for the last month or so. But today we have a really big business to work on. And I've been delaying this work for two weeks now, I think at least two weeks now. So we really need to get this thing done. First off, I have a pretty small apartment and I have over 150 houseplants. And bam, I found a mealybug infestation about a couple weeks ago. That means that I need to work on that quickly because I have only two rooms in my apartment. So there is nowhere to hide, you know? <laughs> So what I've been doing for the last two weeks, I actually hit four houseplants that were infested with mealybugs. Actually, after filming this video, I will go ahead and check my rest of the plants because you never know, maybe some bugs got on them as well. So just like I said, I have on a two, two rooms apartment. So I've been hiding four houseplants that are infested in mealybugs in my bathroom because I also have a German Shepherd dog and he's allergic to the God knows what. We actually been working on his allergies for three months right now. The wet is just really expensive and still did not give us any answers. So this sucks, but to be honest, we're trying to get rid of, any of everything and you know, change all our habits. So we do not give him the same food we used to. We do not give him any treats. So he is on a very, very, unpleasant diet he's also not wearing anymore any scars that they made him because he might be allergic to materials he's not allowed on the bed well okay i'll be honest it's really difficult for me to not allow him on the bed but sometimes for at least five minutes we have a little you know cuddle with him anywho so i mean we also are really afraid because last time we were on at the vet i mentioned that i might have a little bit more houseplants than a regular person and she was not really happy about it. So right now what we're doing, we're actually, oh, I'm so sorry for touching the mic. Right now we're actually sleeping in my other room and this room is like ab ab abandoned because we want to see if he might be allergic to my houseplants, which is, I mean, he's not eating them. He's not sniffing even them. He's not bothered with them, right? But at the same time, they're still a bunch of house plants, a bunch of soil. So we're just checking it out, you know, while living in only other room, if that might be the point. And if it is, then, then I don't know, guys. I'm actually really panicking because if it turns out that my baby is allergic to my house plants, what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do, guys? I mean, I can sell them, but at the same time they're my babies as well and I mean this whole channel is about houseplants so I'm really really scared to be honest and I don't know this is really difficult time for me right now because if I need to make that choice it just nobody knows where it will take me because I won't be I won't have any houseplants most likely and I won't be able to film any houseplant content for you so so we we will see about that but anywho let's not talk about it okay let's take our minds somewhere else like gross tea so let's get to the business. I have four houseplants, uh, variegated Spotifylum, Cupido. I also have my awesome, gorgeous Frosted Heart, I think, Syngonium, which is very beautiful. I also have my Anturium Clarinervium and also my Philodendron Subastatum, right? Four houseplants that needs to be taken care of. We most likely will only work on these two houseplants because these ones are growing in a pretty big pot. So I'm not sure if I will have enough soil because once again, my salary still did not came. It seems like my job is not in a hurry and every single month I receive my salary later and later. So that's annoying, but anywho, I'm, I think I will start to work on this Anturium because guys, look at this flipping root. I still am not sure how I will take it out of the pot. 
what is the plan about an hour ago i sprayed all of them with neem oil once again i have more of it with me right now as well so once again i will spray them with neem oil and i have this napkin piece of material tissue blue thing so i will wipe every single leaf i will wipe every single stem i do not want to miss any crevice of any houseplant because some of those damn bugs might be hiding there and you know try to prank me and like hi bro i'm still here <laughs> we do not want that so i'll try to work on them clean them and then we're gonna need to report them and I think before reporting them, I might go into the bath and spray them with water just in case, you know, any bugs might be on the roots as well. And then we'll report them to the new pots because the old ones might be infested with bugs as well. I'm really risking right now having this anthurium this close to my bird of paradise. But, you know, you know what we say in Lithuania? Kasnerizikoja if we will translate that, that means the ones who do not risk, they do not drink champagne. I am not a big fan of champagne, but that still makes the point, right? <laughs> okay, let's, let's just go for it. So I will put you a little bit lower so you can see what in the world I am doing and let's just go for it. Yeah, I think that will work, right? What do you think about my socks? Oh, sorry, Mark is here. <laughs> These are cacti with Christmas lights and Christmas hats. This is the socks that my mom gave me and I love them. So first off, let's wipe those leaves. I do not want to spray this neem oil everywhere here, so I'll just moisten up this wipe and clean those leaves. I'm actually, I'm pretty afraid to damage those beautiful velvety leaves, you know? Okay. Actually, I've been really hooked on movies lately because, once again, since I did not receive the salary, I needed to do something, so that something was watching movies. So I wanted to ask you, leave your favorite Halloween movies in the comments because I'm on a Halloween movie kick right now. It doesn't have to be, you know, especially Halloween themed, but it can be something autumnal, you know, something from that perspective so please leave me your favorite choices so i can you know spend my sunday watching movies with my babies thank you <laughs> okay this this isn't bad you know what i was so afraid to have anturiums because i mean this is anturium right i mean it says enough already but Actually, this one, the Clarinervium, the stuff that people are talking about them, that they are so easy and perfect plants for beginners who want to try Anturiums. This is so true. I can promise you that they are so easy to grow. And this one for me, this one was blooming for me at least three times right now, which is so sweet. And it's my first time getting bugs on it, so this is not as sweet. But nobody's perfect, you know? Nobody's perfect. Okay, so what I did, I cleaned every single leaf on this gorgeous anturium. Just look at this baby, I'm so proud of it. This is such a beautiful plant. But once again, I cannot actually put my blue thing inside of the very middle of this plant, on the very bottom. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray the notes because it looks like there might be some bugs hiding so just in case you know while i'll be working on my philodendron this one can wait because i will do the same thing right now to my philodendron and then we're gonna go to the reporting part both of these plants are pretty unstable so i actually am not sure what i'm gonna do with this Philodendron, because as you can tell, this leaf is a goner. The worst part about this philodendron, that if you will look close enough into the leaves, they have this little pocket, should we call it pocket, on every single leaf. So that's where most bugs can hide and leave their eggs. So 
This is a plan that is really making it difficult for me you now to clean every crevice. Like, dude, I'm trying to help you. All right, guys, I cleaned this philodendron as well. And I'll be honest, it doesn't look the best, even though the leaves right now looks beautiful and shiny. But there were a little bit more bugs than it was on Anturium. On Anturium, I think I found maybe two millibugs. On this one was, was at least 20. So this is so sad and annoying because I, I was working on this plant for two weeks now. But for those who are pretty new to the millibugs and you have no idea what I'm talking about, let me show you how the damage looks on it. So this leaves show it the best. Can you tell how damaged this poor thing is? These lines are from uncurling from of the sleeve, so it's not the lines, it's these patterns. See? This is really, really sad to see. So, I actually made a decision that I need to cut this philodendron because this specific part, I'm not sure if the sleeve will survive it with this damage, so I will cut it off with my not scissors but you know I will cut it off and I will try to propagate it in my separate room somewhere aside from my other plants I do not feel confident you know putting it back next to all of my other plants so first off oh, that was so painful okay so here is a gorgeous cutting of my philodendron subastatum look at this Look at this, guys. Such a gorgeous underside of the leaves, right? So I'll try to propagate it in water and I don't know, we'll see how this will go, you know? I'm not sure what is the destiny of this cutting, but for now, let's put it aside and let's take these bad boys out of the pots and then most likely rinse them with water and then pot them all up into the new pots. So let's take the stick off. It might be infested as well. Okay. So this pot once again needs to be washed because it might be infested too. So I'm putting it aside right now. And let's try to get rid of the soil as much as we can at least because you know how I am soft. <laughs> And I just cannot, you know, destroy all of those roots, even though I know this is for the best. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let me put these plants a little bit more aside. All I could think about while tearing these roots apart was, she's a maniac, maniac, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> oh God, this is horrible. Okay, so I did everything I could, okay? The more I dig in, the more roots I am losing and that's not what I want with this plant. So I think this is destroyed enough already. So I will take this one aside. That's a really healthy root. Oop. I mean, it's there's still a way that I might take it off. So let's see about that. Okay, that wasn't as bad. Once again, putting that one aside. Pot, I mean. Gosh, again, mess everywhere. Wow, I love the roots in this anturium. It always look like tiny spider legs. I mean, not that tiny anymore, but you get what I wanna say, right? Crazy, so crazy, it's so cute, it's so spooky. So with this one, it was actually so easy to get rid of all of the soil because all of those roots are thick, you know? So they're not that really holding on into the soil, which is really good. 
Okay, wow. Well, this is the max soil I ever have gotten from any root system. <laughs> Look at that. Huh? So clean and so healthy. This is such a beautiful plant. Oh my gosh. Okay, so right now what we are going to do, I will go to the bath and spray wash, you know, power wash, to be honest. All of those leaves, all of those roots, because just in case there is any bugs, we want to get rid of those. So let's go there and I'm going to see you soon. I just finished power washing both of my plants and I right now been choosing between the pots between the pots where I should put them and I think what I decided I will use for this anturium look at those gorgeous healthy roots I will use this simple terracotta pot because it's pretty deep but most likely I will put it into this ceramic pot that I have with cute teddy bear because it needs a deeper pot 100% and this will work perfectly. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do that. So, two terracotta pots, I actually was so stoked because I thought I might use my newest painted pot. What do we think? What do we think? Let me know in the comments. I painted it a couple days ago and I think it turned out so spooky and so cute at the same time, right? But this one really gonna be too small for both of these plants so we're gonna keep it for the next reporting and right now about the soil so what i am going to use i have some ficus soil you know the simple soil mix that is perfect for rhododendron ficus citrus plants so it's a little bit a little bit more moisture keeping mixture so it's not the best but i also have some orchid mixes that are pretty decent pretty chunky so when i will mix them all together i think it will be a perfect mix because at the same time it's pretty good to keep the moisture but also there are so many chunks that will you know have and that will make some ear pockets for this mix so this is perfect look at it so this is a mix special for orchids i bought it from a specific orchid store here in vilnius so lots and lots of orchid barks. You can also add some clay pebbles, some sphagnum moss, sphagnum moss chunks inside of there, some perlite, and etc. Right. So this is how the perfect mix for the orchid would look like, and I think it will work this time perfectly for my philodendron and anturium. So let's mix it all up. Okay, here is another actually mix for orchids as well. Look at that. So chunky. Really, really chunky. Lots of just simple barks. Okay, and now we will mix. Wanna hear a funny fact? After every single reporting I make, when I blow my nose, there is black buggers. <laughs> oh, this sounds so ladylike right <laughs> but this is so funny actually a couple of first times i wouldn't get it because you know you blow your nose and it's black and you're like what the hell is wrong with me am i venom or something <laughs> but yeah this is just the soil anyway okay let's let's put them up so let's start from anturium and then we'll go to philodendron so let me put you lower because right now all you can see is me which is not bad i mean <laughs> okay 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 but we all came in here to look at plants, not at me, right? Maybe... Oh! 
sitting like this on the ground really isn't helping my back either. Uh, the things you do for you guys. Uh, already I think this is so much stress for these plants like I mean they're probably so confused like what the hell the winter comes first cold days came actually a couple couple nights in a row we had minus degrees in Celsius outside so the plants that I'm reporting right now are probably most likely like what the heck <laughs> what the heck is going on with this lady did she saw a calendar or something Okay, so we are done with this gorgeous, gorgeous centurium. I'm gonna need to put this label off, take these labels off, because is it only me or whenever I am reporting plants into new pots that have labels, always somehow the prettier side of a plant turns out to be on the side that the label is. <laughs> God damn it. But yeah, this is how it looks like. Oh, so cute. Isn't that a beautiful plant? I love that it's stable finally. You know, not falling falling around. Cannot wait for roots, you know, to be a little bit stronger. And yeah, I'm really happy with this one. So this looks perfect as well. I'll actually look for a stick so I can still, you know, keep it in place because I do not want this plant to use all of its energy energy just to stay straight. I want it to be happy and you know put all of its energy to the new growth. So I'm gonna look for a mouse pole or something and put it inside. All right, guys, this is it for today's video. I did a lot of work. I can feel the damn back pain so much right now. So I need to go and take a little break and then I'll go straight to editing it so I can upload it today for you guys. So I hope you really enjoyed it because I put a lot of work and I mean, I still did the job I needed to be done but I love to hang out with you. I love to chat with somebody, even though right now I'm alone in the room. I know that after a couple hours, you will answer some questions, right? <laughs> okay, before going to our business, once again, let me teach you another language lesson. And this time, okay, this time I wanna teach you how to say orchid. Since I use some orchid, uh, orchid mixes in my reporting, let me teach you. I mean, orchid is pretty, you know, a universal word. We use them in many languages, but I want you to hear how different they sound in different languages this time, right? So if you wanna say orchid in Lithuania, you need to say orchidea. Once again, orchidea. And if you want to say orchid in Russian, you need to say orchidea. Once again, orchidea. You see, a little bit different at the same time. So it's like the same word, but sounds different. Some, some letters are pronounced very differently. Anyway, this is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Let's chat in the comments. Once again, leave me your movie suggestions. Let's chat about random stuff that came out to your mind while watching this video. And I hope to see you very soon. So comment, like, subscribe, because I love you. You should love me too. <laughs> okay, I'm talking nonsense. Bye, guys.